with its mysticism burning in the campfire in the middle of the woods. You want a landscape laid out for your next dream or film? Check out this episode of Graphic Metal. Metalheads, welcome to Graphic Metal, where metal is celebrated with design in mind. And today, we got our top album picks for both April and May 2024 for the sector of black, atmospheric, and avant-garde metal. We will be presenting these as they were released. So with that, let's get to it. At Light's Demise by Sisfin, a atmospheric black metal album released on April 5th. You know, I had to look up where they're from. I had never heard of Devon before, and I'm sure glad I did. Definitely, definitely got to get there the next time that I'm in the UK. It looks beautiful. And hello, welcome, Sisfin. Nice to meet you. What an introduction. <laughs> Not bad of a debut for an independent band, let alone. And it it stands, as it stands right now, they are a little bit of a one-trick pony for an atmospheric black metal album. I would like to hear a little bit more depth, variety, and emotion Silver Birch, for example, was really the only moment where I saw them take just a moment and relax and truly explore. But sadly, that was way too short at only, well, 30 seconds. But the vocals are thick and evil, and you can clearly tell that they have really great chemistry and a lot of potential. They are on my radar for sure. I can't wait to see where they where they continue to grow from here. Graphic Metal Rating gives it a 79. Vortex of the Worlds by Labyrinthus Stellarum, an atmospheric black metal album released on April 6. Interesting. I, I gotta marinate on this one a little bit further to determine just how much I like it, but what is abundantly clear is that they do they do not look the part, <laughs> but they got something wickedly cool and original going on here. I love the concept and the cosmic ride it takes your soul on is, it's beautiful. Only nitpick, although it's a pretty big one, is that it appears like most of, of it is created with programming and keyboards personal preference here but to defend myself i mean come on that's really what holds this back because it it comes off as cold and flat which would never be the case if they were using more real instruments i mean can you just imagine for a second how inviting and intriguing uh, and soulful it would sound with the real instruments. I mean, th those backgrounds, the the style, the, you know, and then, and then added to the choiring going on, like, oh my gosh, like just imagining it truly remarkably special. Uh, but as it, as it stands, I still have to, you know, take my hat off to them because of that originality. It's hard to pull. It's hard to do, and I I really deeply appreciate that. And my my also heart goes off to to them, and you know 
I mean, they're from Ukraine, right? And so, I, you know, the devastation and the evilness going on there, I just, here's hoping that, you know, they are safe and they remain strong as with everyone else. Uh, just keep it up, man, because you got you got something really, really special going on here. Graphic Battle Rating gives this one an 80. A Parson by Blaze of Perdition. A black metal album released on April 19th reminds me a lot of the band, you know, black metal band Shiny. Uh, if you're into them, definitely check it out. It's otherwise, you know, it's pretty standard black metal. Not not bad, but also not great either. Graphic Metal Rating gives it a 75. Verset Noir by, I'm not sure if you're supposed to pronounce it Akkad or ACOD, but nonetheless, it's a melodic black metal album released on April 26 and is the top pick for April. Uh, album cover of the month, Canada as well, without question. Ugh, so good. I love the cropping, the black and white choice. And whereas I could have done without the, the album title and band name, at least it is not distracting so that your eye, no pun intended, can remain focused. <laughs> Uncharacteristically, they, they start this album off not just with a long song, but their longest recorded song by 12 minutes. <laughs> it's it's at 20, 20 minutes and 21 seconds. It's a pretty impressive way to, to begin. Uh, they come via Marcel France, forming in 2006 with this being album, album six. I never paid much attention to this band, but just like that first song, this time around, they, they, they really got my attention. I really enjoyed this album. What's really cool about, about them is they're... Like their ab ability to blend mostly black metal with a hint of thrash. You clearly can tell that their early days was as a thrash band. Uh, and it's paid up, paying off because those thrashy riffs add like another dynamic and layer to the otherwise black metal. Uh, it just makes the album stand out a little bit more, which I think is a big part of the reason why it was my, my pick for the month of April. I love it. My only nitpick is is that I wish it was a little bit longer, which is you know ironic considering that they start out with a bang and that long of a song. But overall, the album could definitely be a little bit longer. Uh, but I applaud them for for their you know just the push towards innovation and having one of the best album covers. Uh, so graphic metal rating gives this one an eighty nine. It Beckons Us All by Dark Throne, a blackish doom prog metal album released on April 26. Already did our extensive review of this album, so check it out. But a quick recap, and let's be honest, I would be shocked if you clicked on this video and were not familiar with Dark Throne, but somehow you're not. This is a dynamic duo or has been at least since 1994, of friends on drums and vocal duty and Nocturno Koto on guitars, bass, and keyboards from Kobotan, uh, Norway. Those are their band names. Their real names are Glive and, and Ted. 
They have been active since 1986 and have released now 21 studio records, have always leaned more towards prog and art, opting to continuously evolve and explore their sound on each new record, and without question, one of the most influential and best bands in all of metal. The specific this specific album though is straight out of like early 70s proto doom metal think black sabbath which means oldies will instantly love it because of that nostalgic feeling it will just kind of warm your heart with uh but i actually had a tough time keeping it in the black metal episode for this reason nonetheless it's another really strong output for the band i also did an extensive um, breakdown of the design which i loved my main only nitpick is just that i wish it was actually a little bit longer graphic metal rating gives it an 86 Bloom 2 by Aquilius, an atmospheric black slash folk metal album released on May 3rd. You want a landscape laid out for your next dream or film? Check this one out, and it happens to be our pick for the black metal album of May 2024. Here we have disc 3 for Aquilius coming from Down Under, Melbourne, Australia. And it seems like a common trend these days. Yet another one man band. In this case, Wardroff. And I actually have a question for him. Why the heck didn't he just use his name for the band name? Just saying. Actually, speaking of films, one of his songs was actually used for an Australian film. So that's pretty cool. And I mean, well, listen to it, and you can clearly understand why that might be. I highly recommend this one to, quite frankly, all metalheads because of its almost like classical-like compositions that will just bring a, a very fresh sound to your ears that you're not normally accustomed to. But specifically for fans of Old Opeth, Neoblifiscaris, or Agalash. My only nitpick is, is that because of its length and because of its co compositional style, it can feel a little bit long and repetitive to some degree. But again, it makes up for it for just its classical, you know, grander, you know, type of epic style, which is, you know, definitely, uh, you know, a great thing for 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 black metal right <laughs> uh graphic metal rating gives this one an 86 Descending into a deeper darkness by Nexon, a black metal album released on May 3rd, has not gotten much attention or love at all, but I find this sophomore release from Nexon, who come via Munster, Germany, to be quite pleasant. It sounds good, great balance between speed and atmospheric world building, and, well, they got those, you know, clever uh, nicknames that uh, black metal bands seem to like to do in uh, LN. <laughs> uh, LN doesn't have too bad of, uh, of vocals. It's it's tolerable, right? I think the I think the casual black metal fans would would like this one. Give it a spin. Graphic metal rating gives it a seventy-seven.
Apex Predator by Heislig, a post-black metal, hardcore metal album released on May 3rd. I like the album cover. Musically, this is like all about the, the vibe and energy. You do not listen to this one for any other reason. It's kind of like similar to the shoegazing. In fact, let's throw in, you know, let's just make more subgenre names, right? It's, it's like black gazing or hardcore gazing. <laughs> Graphic Ball Rating gives this one a 65. Never Return by Swetner. Not 100% certain how to pronunciate this one either. It's a black prog metal album released on May 10th. Production is rough. Really rough. And, and the vocals are meh. But they make up for it sonically with their like offbeat mysticism burning in the campfire in the middle of the woods and around the world band meaning that they touch a little bit of like all genres and styles with of course their their pillar being black metal but that range uh just it has it's it's the reason why this album is enjoyable uh i because you never have any clue what they're going to do next like Sure, at times it is definitely a little jarring, especially because of the poor production, but if you can keep me on my toes, like, I'm in. After all, to me, to me that's when black metal is at its absolute best, and, and this band understands this really, really well, because that graphic metal rating gives this one a 72. <laughs> Pro Ristu by Rotting Christ, a melodic gothic slash black metal album released on May 24th. One of those rare bands that has been around for what feels like forever uh, always seem to make great music and most importantly has always sounded unlike anyone else. They truly forged their own path and we've loved them for that and on this one their 14th album it's no different this one feels even more epic with a continuation of further emotion melodies chanting poetry paired with their you know typical thunderous mid-tempo grooving riffing and always using are just always unusual, you know, song structures, which is a staple of theirs. Not much else to say here. It's yet another really strong output for them. And the production, once again, is sound, sounds warm, inviting, and thunderous. Graphic Mall rating gives it an 82. Citadel of the Stars by Sigatar, a black metal album released on May 31st. I actually have only one thing to say about this album because it's, it, it's too much of a distraction. The vocals needed to be bumped up in the mixing because it sounds way too soft and gets just buried in the mud. I It's too much of a distraction for me. Otherwise, it sounds like decent black, black metal. Graphic metal rating gives it a 70. (music) 
Aldrock by yeah, I'm not gonna even attempt to pronunciate this one. A, a pagan black metal album released on May 31st. Well, I also have no clue what is being said other than probably, you know, related to old Norse history in some capacity. But it sounds really cool. <laughs> also pretty cool is is that all three members sing. Uh, they are split between Iceland and Germany. But yeah, sonically, this is one of the strongest black metal albums so far this year. It has everything. It's the it's the, the freshest album on this list, quite frankly. I, I it will be interesting to see how this one fares with more uh, lists because this is actually the freshest. I just it just was released on May thirty first, so I've actually been able to play through it one time and. Mind you add, it's it's 122 minutes, so it's going to take some time before, you know, uh, with more with more listens. Uh, but I'm digging it so far. Particularly like the, the spoken word bits. Works really well to just balance out the album. Graphic Metal at the moment gives this one an 84. And that was the list. Here are some other of our videos. And check back soon for our other picks with the other subgenres of both rock and metal for the months of April and May coming very, very soon. Until then, cheers and keep on rocking.